Okay, you guys, I find this interesting. So her most recent press um, is titled My Boyfriend the Dungeon Master at Six Months Sober. Um, it, it's a, uh, it's a, if you like the poem, then you do. I'll go ahead and read it to you. February 21st. It's not how I play D&D. And so if you play D&D, I would like you to chime in. Because to me, this almost reads like someone who's trying to Wikipedia D&D. But okay. So, 16 dice roll collide on a wooden table, ice in a glass sweating. And I had talked about that being strapped by these men and their snacks, and that's why I don't play. The only viable, <clears throat> viable option is always through the dungeon. That's totally not how anybody plays a game. When they say Dungeons and Dragons, it's sort of figurative. It's all-encompassing of a world, an entire world that your dungeon matter, master creates, whether it's fictitious or things we see on the planet. But they usually yeah, piggyback yeah. off things like oceans yeah. and what? cliffs and mountains, and it's a whole voyage. So why a dungeon master would make it the only viable option means that she's continuously playing the entire campaign in a literal dungeon. I've never heard of that before. Um... Okay, Thorn riding the dragon like a pony stabbing wildly. Like there's literally a dragon. That's so interesting. I don't know if it's my dungeon master was like a little bit more creative than yours, but to add in a figurative dragon right off the bat like that as well. That's interesting. I well, it's a bit cliche because you know, but she does say goblins, dragons, spiders, and small murderous plants, all of which is found on on anything that you could look up in in about three minutes. You can know all that information. Okay. Um, in a game like this, we kind of expect to keep winning. We? Really? Everybody expects that at no point in the game they will die. That seems unlikely. Because that's what happens. Um, still, if your character fall, fails three death saves, that's it. You're out. In our first week of dating, he confessed he couldn't stop once we started. We met on a full moon in June and danced like we invented tomorrow. He taught me how to keep holding hands when we fight. For a year and a half, I thought this time might really be the end. When he drinks, the man I love disappears. He lies. He yells. He turns red and demon-like. One night, he smacked my ass a bit too un unplayfully. Do you remember how Donovan did that? And it caused a fight between us, and he left a handprint on my butt, and I said it wasn't cool, and then he bit me in the face. Remember that? That whole thing when in Willits, the whole this parting was him biting me literally in the face. It's so interesting that that same thing happened to you. Huh, but this mine's on tape. Um, and then she's a well-trained wizard. A well-trained wizard? There's no training in D&D. You either roll high or you don't. Now you have stats to roll high for you know your amount of power or whatever in the beginning, but there's no training, so that's not even a thing. That almost sounds like trying to boast your own resume fraudulently. Yeah. yeah. Um, wizard, which wizards are guys. Okay. Um... I know what to do in the moment of combat. First, flash the magic shields. At my next turn, I set in motion the powerful ritual of vanishing. I warned him I could see the future. Wanted a different one. Raise my wand. <laughs> Sorry. Wand up. Spell prepared long ago. Spell prepared? Nobody prepares spells. I'm sorry, what? Are, do you actually literally write down spells in D&D? Because you just freaking roll. Either it doesn't matter what words you read, as it's not, it's a game. It doesn't matter. You're wasting everyone's time. It's just you either roll roll high or you roll low. If you roll low, your spell doesn't work. You roll high, it does. So I don't know what well prepared. This is like resume boasting all over again. And as we see, that's usually just one pages and things that aren't even LLCs that claim to be and stuff like that. So. I just find it very interesting that at 34 you decided to start playing Dungeons and Dragons, where it was very literal Dungeons and Dragons, interesting, and that suddenly you have a drug and alcohol problem. Well, good for you, six months sober. It's fascinating.